Hi and welcome to my next video. Um, today I'm going to show you um, how I made a, uh, a logo with an effect using a couple programs using Swish Max and uh, finishing off in Pinnacle Studio. So I'll first show you Swish Max. Swish Max is a kind of uh, cheaper version of uh, Flash um, and it makes uh, these files that are called uh, SWF files. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, open up uh, the project that I already um, that I already started. Okay, so here's the uh, logo. Um, that I've already uh, started to make and um, let's just zoom it out a bit here okay so with Swish Max um, uh, it's basically there's two sides to Swish Max there's kind of uh, there's actually a few sides to Swish Max and uh, um, you've got your drawing and creating section. Um, you've got your object section here. And you can create movies. And you can create movies within movies. You can create movies. And you can, you know, what, like it's, I don't know if you've ever seen on a Flash, what you have when you see a Flash website is you have, um, what Flash is is basically it's like moving little mini movies of uh, images and things like that. So, um, well, here let, let's just play this one and we'll, you'll see what this. Here's what this little animation does. Okay, there it is. Okay, so that's my little animation, and. Uh, what you can do is you can import if you have a uh, if you have an image that you created in another program you can um, take the file menu um, on the top left and you can port uh, um, you can say um, uh, import to stage um, well when you first open Swish Max you have to create a you know, create a new project, so you create just the default. This is just like, you can create the default, and that just creates like a basic movie. And then you can resize it to the size that you want. And um, so here it is, I import to stage, and then you click image. Then you find that on your computer, and then open. And that'll bring that image in, and then here it is. And then what I did was I made a background, I made that white background. It's just I used the box tool, one of these box tools. And then I made the background, the white background. And, uh, and then you create, you can create the fill and the, the, the line and the fill. And uh, then you um, go modify and then arrange. And then you uh, bring it backwards so it's behind the uh, image that you, um, that you imported. And then what you do is you can center it. You can use these aligning tools. You can center to, and then here he says align to stage. So you can center it uh, vertically, horizontally. And um, the last thing that you do is you do modify group, and then you modify it and group objects, and then group as a as a shape. Okay, so that kind of joins the the homage, the object you imported to the background the white background and it makes it one unit okay and then it shows up here it's called new logo dot jpg that's a, all is one thing and then you can add your effects to it um, the other thing too is I'm using kind of a blue screen because I, Im I import this whole logo into my pinnacle studio and I want to do a blue screen effect so what you do is um, on your background or on your movie you click on the scene and that clicks on the movie and then you go background um, I just, uh, I'm not sure if it's the background or the movie tent, but you do, I did it to the both of them. And you sec select 0000FF. 
as your black background color. And then under movie prod properties you do the exact same thing. I think it's the background color of the movie that's important. So you go 0000, 000, 000 FF that's the background color and that'll work for blue screen effect and then you click OK so there it is and then the movie's created the last thing I want to mention before I export before I show you the export is uh, you go file and you want to export this to an AVI oh well, I forgot to show you the effect okay so we add the 3D spin effect I actually added three effects here so um, the first effect is 3D spin so you can see I did that for you know 45 seconds there or whatever and then I did um, what I used is a place effect, a place object effect and then there's kind of a, a period where the object just sits still and then I did another 3D, a 3D spin effect and then I did a, a um, place effect again and then the last one is remove frame and so there's all of the effects. And under 3D spin effect, um, I modified those two effects. So once you choose your effect from the, you can uh, just put your uh, pointer on the timeline window, click it, and then uh, and you can right click and then it'll add effects. So you can say, you, know, you can choose your effect to add. Um, uh, where it is? Okay, so. Uh, here I'm clicking on a blank section and here it is you can choose all your effects you can choose one-off looping I use the core effect and uh, 3d spin okay so there's the effect and once you click on the effect then you can um, I changed the X spin and I changed the uh, or I changed the Y spin from the the basic preset to 360 and um, on the last spin I changed the X spin to zero. So um, the first spin it spins kind of somersaults, and the the last spin it just kind of spins uh, horizontally. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to show you is export. So file export, um, export, and um, we want to export this to an AVI movie. But the tricky part is don't use don't export it. You have to change the the codec here. So go into File Export Settings, go AVI, Setup Compression, and um, choose this uh, from the drop-down window. Choose it'll default to Cinepak uh, codec by radius, and what you want to use is the PIC Video MJPEG 3 VFW codec because it's the best one, and the other ones I've had you know glitches with. Okay, so then you export. I'm going to close out of. Uh, Swishmax now. Okay, and now we're going to go into Pinnacle Studio. And this is an older version of Pinnacle Studio. It's uh, version 11. And uh, once we're in Pinnacle Studio, then um, I'm just going to show you. We, I'm just going to pull a photo. Um, and we'll just use a photo to demonstrate. Okay, so we'll use this, uh, let's see, we'll use this nice landscape photo here. Okay, and um, and then we'll grab our uh, graphic here. Okay, so desktop, and we'll grab the get AVI that I just created. Okay, oh yeah, the um, once you export it, you have to convert it. Or no, this time you don't have to convert it, so don't worry about that. Okay, so I think this is it right here. Good logo. Okay, so there's the good logo, and then I drag that down into actually, yeah, we we want it to be um, in the pick and pick section. Okay, and then we just stretch the movie a little bit. We're just using basically a photo for the movie. So we'll stretch that a little bit longer. Okay, so now we've got um, this, and I'll show you how to do the blue screen effect in Pinnacle. So we double click on the movie, okay, and then we click this kind of plug here, and then um, we'll use uh, Studio Plus RTFX um, chroma key here, and then OK, and then go blue screen. 
okay? And that's basically uh, done. And um, so what you'll have when you play the movie is you can see there, the it's added to the movie. So it's playing and then it spins out. And uh, that's just quickly what I did in the, in the final version, I did a fade as well. So um, when you see the logo in the movie, you'll see that it fades as well, fades out. So anyways, that's just a quick, uh, uh, quick way to um, get your graphic. And I also resized it as well, so I put it in the bottom corner. So yeah, thanks for watching. And that's just a quick video of how I use Swish Max to create a logo for my YouTube channel and uh, a kind of flash logo that I exported to a video file and then added to my um, my uh, with using Pinnacle Studio I use that to add the logo to my my videos thanks for watching